and welcome to the literary lovers channel today we are going to study about uh, one of the most uh, famous poems of john dryden absalom and achitophel uh, this is uh, this poem uh, historical background of the poem is it he claims uh, um, original it's a uh, background of a biblical story he recounts in his poem and the, the reconciliations of absalom and his father king david absalom and david are thinly veiled metaphors for uh, charles second of england and his illegim, uh, illegitimate son james scott the first duke of monmouth so this is um, this archetype uh, absalom and achitophel as a satire particularly political satire which has uh, become exceedingly popular in restoration england as a means to address uh, problems and injustices within the government and society as a whole a uh, contemporary to this uh, work is uh, samuel butler's uh, hudibras a uh, monk heroic narrative poem which is based on the english civil war published in 1663 and alexander pope's the rape of the lock in 1712 jonathan swift's uh, satirical tradition 1729 that's a name uh, that's essay in, entitled as uh, a modest proposal so this poem absalom and achitophel uh, written on 1681 it's uh, written in in london uh, uh, literary period is english restoration and genre is political satire it's a poetry it sets in uh, israel during the reign of uh, king david and in this poem uh, it's a third person omniscient point of view and it's a uh, antagonist is achitophel and the uh, poem goes like this it begins uh, with the uh, in holy times which uh, this polygamy has uh, before this uh, polygamy has made a sin which in, which means you might know that polygamy means a man who can own ma- not who is not confined to one woman it means he can marry many uh, women so at that time so the uh, law did not forbid a man who is uh, taking a both a mistress and a wife and uh, israel monarch david as a king of israel who spread his royal seed he got a plenty of uh, sons and uh, um, uh, the main queen is michael but uh, several women were there to him who he got married and his son his son who is not uh, legitimate so uh, is absalom is the most loved person um, and admired by both jews and the father that is david so absalom has a who well, has a very handsome and full of grace he proved himself as a hero in foreign wars so uh, david see himself in uh, now this absalom hand he is very ambitious about his son who is not his own his son uh, he is illegitimate son so it's not how long before the jews revived the good old cause to rise up a commonwealth and the ruling kings the jebusites jebusites it mean the uh, people who are native or native to israel so who lost their rights and their uh, taxes are increased they were in trouble their lands are seized and their gods and regions are marginalized and the priests in are incensed and soon the plot the nation's curse begins to circulate and here has the uh, david has getting aged and this uh, after the david who is the next king the question it comes but in this uh, the next 
person who uh, who is uh, eligible is not his son david he thinks himself next his ghost uh, his power is goes to his own brother but but akitophel who is a uh, smart and accomplished ambitious of power and has flexible moral who is a counselor basically he is a counselor of david he has a cruel thought in him his mind actually he don't want he never wishes to be as a king but he must have one uh, who he just wants david to come down and he wants absalom to be the king and akitophel begins to uh, he starts his work towards the, his desire and he wants to disturb the political government uh, pay, uh, pay uh, what is that peace and the uh, peace and the society and he wants to disturb this uh, rule of david and his family and absalom he is uh, not a uh, legitimate as you know has a birth has a royal he claims absalom will be the chief savior akitophel claims and he start publicly hailing that he is a birth as royal and his he started to increase the uh, popularity of absalom so akitophel is a flat uh, he he make flatters to the absalom akitophel flatters absalom with compliments of his superior virtue and reminds him that david too had to answer a call to the throne when he was in exile in geth so the people are restless and crying for a new king as they have a, in, a, in their history that uh, people can choose their kings uh, uh, and every 20 years the people has a choice to choose kings so this is only one thing which make this akitophel to uh it uh, to use this uh, misuse this akitophel motivates absalom and uh, he enriches her, he enrages him to uh, make a desired uh, power that rightfully belongs to him but that is uh, taken by another one that is uh, another one that is a uh, david's uh, brother so uh, once uh, he sees that uh, uh, this absalom is not as uh, agreed fully agreed akitophel plans to wait until david has foolishly given his last of his money to the people then he incite more public discord or bury david with expensive foreign wars akitophel admits that he despises david's brother and most of the jews hate him too he akitophel brilliantly worked uh, to work towards uh this to uh this destroy this uh, david and his brothers rule uh and he uh enrages the people of jews to love absalom and he ensures that uh he uh, this uh, absalom jews uh, or uh, uh, agreed to choose this absalom as a, their king how to make this akitophel joins the various small contents of israel to one final hand to strip david of his power and gave it to absalom many men assist this akitophel uh, that they are Zam- zimir balam and kab kalib but none of are as powerful as zimi zimi the most powerful of akitophel's men he is a dishonest crook who steals and cheats cheats cheat cheats the jews every chance he gets but the jews appoint him as their magistrate anyway so this uh, simi ta- uh, stakes juries to punish david's supporters and set his enemies free 
and during his tenure as magistrate treason is not a crime same is one of david's tormentors in the bible so and in dryden's poem he represented he represents slings be bethel the sheriff of london a member of a parliament during the dryden's time so hmm next ha uh, his uh, cora cora c o r a h who engineered the plot he is a priest had his memory is impeccable those the people fail to see his deceit surrounded by such a man absalom addresses the people he started to give a, a speech he has outrages by their troubles and he wishes he could suffer on their behalf he tells to the people that he loves his father but their liberty is at stake he wipes a tear from his eyes and tells the people his tears are all he has to give so people uh, hug him raise their hands to praise this absalom so they are already fell into the trap of this akitophel to hug this absalom to uh, to uh, agree this absalom as their king but in the next step of the poem uh, its uh, word says as oh foolish israel the speaker of the poem cries so absalom's procession chariot and is merely war in masquerade so the speaker says that people are often wrong and a faultless king could be ruined no sensible man would disrupt the government and dethrone their king which will surely make their grievances worse despite this public opposition however there are still loyal men who stand by david so at the end david tells to the people that he uh uh make her he gave the warning to the people as that be aware the fury of a patient patience patient man so be aware of him if the jews want a fight david is ready wind while they are breathless and exhausted he will strike them down as david speaks thunder rocks the sky and every jews Jew knows their rightful king so this is the poem absalom and akitophel as a fight against the uh, father and the son and this uh, there are many people who earlier supported uh, the king david but stand against him and big uh, conspiracy against him by supporting a son that is absalom and here hakitophel is a main antagonist who supports to dethrone the king david